okay hello welcome back guys so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel and then turn up that notification button so you can get easily updated with new tutorials popping up for my youtube channel so that will kind of actually help encourage me to kind of drop or create more content for you guys okay so let's carry on with this so i'm going to be creating a slightly completely different hairstyle on top of this character now I'll be going for something, <clears throat> something more of this, something more of this nature, something more of this nature. Okay, so let's get to it. Uh, yes. Yeah, so I'm going to hide, going to hide. Hide this center head air. Hide this as well. Select the scalp again. <clears throat> I'll create a new. I'm thinking of creating even a new collection for this. Create description. I'll create a new collection. <clears throat> Uh, should I? Should I? Should I? Yes. Let me just create a new collection. Just keep things a bit organized. Let me name this to Afro <coughs> underscore head underscore uh, col underscore collection C L L. So I'll name this to. <coughs> Um, let me name this to long underscore afro underscore <coughs> head hair underscore d e this s c. So this is fine. Placing splines, random lacrosse surface, placing and shaping guides. Let's fire this up. All right, I think we are good. I believe we are good. So now we have a new collection down here. As you can see Afro head air. <clears throat> so we just need to go back to the head air collection. We need to hide. All of this All right this can go back to, go back to the afro head hair collection all right okay <clears throat> just before we continue let's put this all the way to 50 Let's try and push 17 instead because we're going to be in a lot, a lot of coils in there. We might even need to increase that later on, but now let's just leave it as it is. <coughs> and squash this down. Put this here. Okay. <coughs> Let's get our air settings in here. So it's more or less just the same, the same repet repetition. Just copy all of this. <coughs> um, No, paste this in here. Paste this in here. Okay, I think we are golden. Let's go. I will increase this for now, like so. So now let's just start. 
blocking out some air shape or air guys around this. <clears throat> Slightly tricky though. Let's just put this here. I always like to put it on the right because it's much easier for my brain to understand that it's on the right hand side. What is this? Convert primitive to polygons, drag this all the way to the end. <coughs> okay. Alright, so click on the plus sign to add a add or move guide. Click on this. So the first thing I would like to do is to kind of put this where the airline should be. So <clears throat> more or less somewhere starting from somewhere around here. <clears throat> then put on that one here. Put that now I'm just too close to the center. <clears throat> I will select these two. Scale them out like so. Rotate them backward. I'm not entirely sure the actual height, <coughs> precise height for this bot. <coughs> Maybe a bit small, like so. <coughs> Only pretty much like this should work. <coughs> okay, so. Or just go, are we GG on the keyboard? Just go back in here and then continue blocking this out. <clears throat> okay. I think it's, it's preferable to do this on the side view. So we can get the actual <clears throat> shape for this. Okay. Okay. See the top view. The G on the keyboard. This almost in the shape of rose and colon. EG on the keyboard. <clears throat> put one here, put one here. Don't do that. <clears throat> put one here, one here, one here. All right, so this should work. So let's just select everything minus this. Fantastic. <clears throat> Some of these we need to adjust the scale slightly. We will take this up like so. <clears throat> This number I used I used too much. I think I have too much, too much um air guides for this. Tilt this back some more. A bit more. Okay. Select this. I'll delete this. Let's begin to make individual corrections to this. Yeah, I added too many. I added too many because I was supposed to just block them out like we did previously, and then once we create a new one, it's going to, it's going to interpolate in between the closest air guide in there. But that's fine. I think I can still manually adjust them individually.
so just keep breaking <clears throat> adjusting this individually Okay. The gravity should be pulling these ones down a bit more. So as I'm creating this, I'm also keeping in mind the effect of gravity on this. Select this, move this slightly forward. <clears throat> okay. Also, they can't all be, they can't all be with the same lens. Bending out a bit too much. So you have pretty control over this to change <coughs> when you decide whatever you want. So getting something in there. Okay. 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 I think this uh, once at the back, I'll need to scale down some more. I'm just trying to create variation on variation on the height of some of this. Okay. Most of these we still need to come back and adjust later on, but I think for now this is more or less a good start. We put save. Let's generate some air on top of this. And let's see what we have. <clears throat> So the idea is to use this kind of get a feel of how the lens should be. Now looking at this now, not seeing now, seeing now that <clears throat> the height is way too much. So I'll select everything, scale this down some more. Okay, we're getting something a bit more interesting in here now. Okay. So the best thing, another way to kind of get a good idea on this is to check the side view, kind of figure out the height of some of this, scale this down. So I'm going to get like a transition, like something across all the way down, like this. As you can see, I'm trying to use this kind of create that shape on there. Okay. 
can see almost like looking like a kind of more more kind of shape around the silhouette at the back which is precisely what we want let's check this from the front view also you can see that enveloping shape around this more like a c shape around this at the tip which is also precisely what we want so we're basically using this to kind of control control that we want to kind of have a smooth transition around it so let me undo that thing I think this should be fine. Yeah, this looks more or less good enough to work with. So I'll hide this for now. Okay. Then I would like to mirror this to the other side. Select all of this. Deselect this piece. Then let's do a mirror. Yeah, you might be wondering why I'm not adding some s shape curve to it so you guys are wondering already why i'm not just a mess shape s shape curve we will but not now let's just first get this we want, to, we want to first get the general look to it first general feel of the shape in there first then after adding clumping and adding modifiers to this we cannot begin to manipulate them as individual piece kind of add some measure of curve to it um okay yes that's what we do <clears throat> that's what we do i'm not trying to figure out the fastest way to do things in here without having to waste so much time but Seems like if you want something really good, you just have to spend more time working on it, and that's completely fine. So I'm this to the other side. So generating hairs out of this now. This is what we have. For the most part, this 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 looks good. <clears throat> This would work for the most parts. All right. Okay, so let's hide this for now. So what we need to do in here is to oh see I see a lot of gaps in the mid in the mid part. So I'm going to try as much as possible not to create too much in here. So let's add some guide. I'll just do one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one at the center, one at the center here, one at the center here, one at the center here, one here. Yeah, you should be fine. <clears throat> All right, so carrying on. Do a quick save again for this. All right, so um, let's quick save again for this. Okay. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Let's see, okay. Let's generate again, as again for this. Let's see. All right. Okay, fair enough. So the next thing we need to do now is to create, let me hide. I think I'll leave this here. Is to create density max for this. <clears throat> Let's create a density max for this. So I'll come in here, create map with this 50. Should be starting with black, full black, afro underscore head <coughs> underscore hair <coughs> underscore D E N underscore max. <coughs> 
Click on create. Think we're good. Okay. Hide this for now. Think I need to let me come in here and select this. Hide this for now. Go back in here. Okay. Select this cup again. Click on this paint tool. Fantastic. Great. Great. That's just great. Okay, so let's let's just cross check and make sure everything is working correctly. <clears throat> Good thing we were saving at intervals. Good thing we were saving at intervals for this. So let's start. Um, uh, okay. Um, let me hide this for now. Go back, hide this also. So, any book I'm supposed to. File set projects set projects binomial sets any time you go back and then cross check to be sure if everything is still in there. Extremely important. So if they are not, you can always go back and fix or look for solutions online on how to fix that. Okay, so let's hide this scalp I can do that we need to hide this scalp hide the head here review the review this because this is going to be like this is what we're going to use going to help us block out block out the air on top of this so um uh My, my brain <laughs> okay yes we are supposed to create some marks for this so select this scalp no 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 you don't necessarily need to go select the scalp just come in here let's create a new a new map for this put this at 50 full black so we are this at afro let me name this to long underscore afro underscore head hair underscore dn underscore max for this creates fantastic so we're in now we hide this for now again double click to bring this out make sure you're using this solid brush for this we are painting full whites come in here reflection um before we start saving textures let's block something in the in there first so use b and left mouse click to reduce the size i'm sure you guys already know that now reduce the size like this then let's start blocking things in so the idea is to go as quickly as you can i would like to review this so you can see where the air is Okay, and I'll just go across this. Like so. Let's spin this some more. Something pretty much like this should be fine. <clears throat> so I'll increase the brush size slightly a bit more.
let's block out so this region okay I think we can safely increase the brush size even more. Turn off this wireframe on shaded and paint some more. We still want to be careful though. Yeah, I said it's you still have to be careful because something like this can happen. What I was trying to avoid. I don't know, it's kind of weird error around it. So you want to kind of kind of face that region properly for blocking things out. So I'm going to put this to full black now and then just paint this off. All right, so this should be fine. I believe this should be fine. Then let's save this texture. Save. Good thing it didn't crash. Come in here, assign texture. Let me increase this assign texture. Save texture. Save again. All right. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Let's control save, <clears throat> control S rather. So I'm looking looking at this now. I feel like I should paint. I should come forward a bit more, paint some in front a bit more. Paint some in front a bit more. So let's go back in there. Painting full white on this. Take down the brush size. Uh, hide this for now. Slightly a bit more. Okay, <clears throat> save this. Come back in here. Yeah, that seems like a good region. <clears throat> okay, that should work. I'm not really going for absolute precision in here. I'm not looking for something that should be good enough to work with. <clears throat> yeah, this should this should work. So I'll just save this. Okay. One thing you need to do is to blow this out though. Is to blow this out. So let's go back in there one more. <clears throat> Like this, uh, painting black blow. Take down the brush size. What is this? Take down the brush size. Let's experiment with the back first. 
Give me some moss. Okay. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Okay. I'm just trying to fade out the edge. Okay. Maybe I should do a bit more. Let me increase this slightly. Blow this out some more. We could save. So we should have a bit more of a smoother transition around this on the edge. Is more or less precisely what I want. Save textures. Yeah, something like this. Something like this should work. <clears throat> you could save again. All right. So if you come a bit closer, I can see more of this motor transition on the front, on the front of the air. This is what we want. Okay. Uh, so let's carry on with the next lesson. So in the next lesson, we're going to be adding working with modifiers, which is like the, which is like the tricky aspect of this. But I believe we'll get through it just fine. All right. So I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.